I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the Infinite Creator. I communicate now. Question 21.1 .1. Questioner, I have a couple of questions that I don't want to forget to ask in this period, so I will ask them first. The first question is, would the future content of this book be affected in any way if the instrument reads the material that we have already obtained? Answer, I am Ra. The future, as you measure in time-space, communications which we offer through this instrument have no connection with the instrument's mind complex. This is due to two things, first the fidelity of the instrument in dedicating its will to the service of the infinite creator. Secondly, the distortion understanding of our social memory complex that the most efficient way to communicate material with as little distortion as possible, given the necessity of the use of sound vibration complexes, is to remove the conscious mind complex from the spirit mind body complex so that we may communicate without reference to any instrument's orientation. Question 21.2 Questioner do you use the instrument's vocabulary or your own vocabulary to communicate with us? Answer, I am Ra. We use the vocabulary of the language with which you are familiar. This is not the instrument's vocabulary. However, this particular mind, body, spirit complex retains the use of a sufficiently large number of sound vibration complexes that the distinction is often without any importance. Question 21.3 Questioner, Andrija Paharich will be visiting later this month. Can he read the unpublished healing material? Answer, I am Ra. The entity of whom you speak has a knowledge of this material in its conscious memory in somewhat altered form. Therefore, it is harmless to allow this entity to become acquainted with this material. However, we request the mind, body, spirit complex, Henry, be sufficiently prepared by means of meditation, contemplation, or prayer before entering these workings. At present, as we have said before, this mind, body, spirit complex is not a proper vibrational distortion. Question 21.4 Questioner, I had already determined to exclude him from these workings. I had only determined to let him read the material. The only other thing that I have noticed within the material as it exists now there is a certain statement that will allow him to understand who I believe Spectra really was. It seems to be my duty to remove this from his knowledge to preserve the same free will that you are tempted to preserve by not naming the origin of the Spectra contact in Israel. Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is a matter for your discretion. Question 21.6 Questioner that's what I thought you'd say. So at the start of this 75,000 year cycle we know that the quarantine was fully set up. I am assuming then that the Guardians were aware of the infringements on the free will that would occur if they didn't set this up at that time and therefore did it. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is partially incorrect. The incorrectness is as follows, those entities whose third density experience upon your red planet was brought to a close prematurely were aided genetically while being transferred to this third density. This, although done in a desire to aid, was seen as infringement upon free will. The light quarantine which consists of the guardians, or gardeners as you may call them, which would have been in effect was intensified. Question 21.7 Questioner when the 75,000 year cycle started, the lifespan was approximately 900 years, average. What was the process and scheduling mechanism, shall I say, of reincarnation at that time, and how did the time in between incarnations into third density physical apply to the growth of the mind, body, spirit complex? Answer, I am Ra. This query is more complex than most. We shall begin. The incarnation pattern of the beginning third density mind, body, spirit complex begins in darkness, for you may think or consider of your density as one of, as you may say, asleep and a forgetting. This is the only plane of forgetting. It is necessary for the third density entity to forget so that the mechanisms of confusion or free will may operate upon the newly individuated consciousness complex. Thus, the beginning entity is one in all innocence oriented towards animalistic behavior using other selves only as extensions of self for the preservation of the all-self. The entity becomes slowly aware that it has needs, shall we say, that are not animalistic, that is, that are useless for survival. These needs include, 
the need for companionship, the need for laughter, the need for beauty, the need to know the universe about it. These are the beginning needs. As the incarnations begin to accumulate, other needs are discovered, the need to trade, the need to love, the need to be loved, the need to elevate animalistic behaviors to a more universal perspective. During the first portion of third density cycles, incarnations are automatic and occur rapidly upon the cessation of energy complex of the physical vehicle. There is small need to review or to heal the experiences of the incarnation as, what you would call, the energy centers begin to be activated to a higher extent, more of the content of experience during incarnation deals with the lessons of love. Thus the time, as you may understand it, between incarnations is lengthened to give appropriate attention to the review and the healing of experiences of the previous incarnation. At some point in third density, the green ray energy center becomes activated and at that point incarnation ceases to be automatic. Question 21.8. Questioner, when incarnation ceases to be automatic I am assuming that the entity can decide when he needs to incarnate for the benefit of his own learning. Does he also select his parents? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 21.9. Questioner, at this time in our cycle, near the end, what percentage of the entities incarnating are making their own choices? Answer, I am Ra. The approximate percentage is 54%. Question 21.10. Questioner, thank you. During this first 25,000 year cycle was there any industrial development at all, any machinery available to the people? Answer, I am Ra. Using the term machine, to the meaning which you ascribe, the answer is no. However, there were, shall we say, Various implements of wood and rock which were used in order to obtain food and for use in aggression. Question 21.11 Questioner, at the end of this first 25,000 year cycle was there any physical change that occurred rapidly like that which occurs at the end of a 75,000 year cycle or is this just an indexing time for harvesting period? Answer, I am Ra. There was no change except that which according to intelligent energy, or what you may term physical evolution, suited physical complexes to their environment, this being of the color of the skin due to the area of the sphere upon which entities lived, the gradual growth of peoples due to improved intake of foodstuffs. Question 21.12 Questioner, then, at the end of the first 25,000 year period, I am guessing that the Guardians discovered that there was no harvest of either positively or negatively oriented entities. Tell me then what happened? What action was taken? Answer, I am Ra. There was no action taken except to remain aware of the possibility of a calling for help or understanding among the entities of this density. The Confederation is concerned with the preservation of the conditions conducive to learning. This for the most part, revolves about the primal distortion of free will. Question 21.13 Questioner, then the Confederation Gardeners did nothing until some of the plants in their garden called them for help. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 21.14 Questioner, when did the first call occur, and how did it occur? Answer, I am Ra. The first calling was approximately 46,000 of your years ago. This calling was of those of Moldek. These entities were aware of their need for rectifying the consequences of their action and were in some confusion in an incarnate state as to the circumstances of their incarnation, the unconscious being aware, the conscious being quite confused. This created a calling. The Confederation sent love and light to these entities. Question 21.15 Questioner, how did the Confederation send this love and light? What did they do? Answer, I am Ra. They dwell within the Confederation planetary entities who from their planetary spheres do nothing but send love and light as pure streamings to those who call. This is not in the form of conceptual thought but of pure and undifferentiated love. Question 21. 16. Questioner, did the first distortion of the law of one then require that equal time, shall I say, be given to the self-service oriented group? Answer, I am Ra. In this case this was not necessary for some of your time due to the orientation of the entities. 
Question 21.17. Questioner, what was their orientation? Answer, I am Ra. The orientation of these entities was such that the aid of the Confederation was not perceived. Question 21.18. Questioner, since it was not perceived it was not necessary to balance this. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. What is necessary to balance is opportunity. When there is ignorance, there is no opportunity. When there exists a potential, then each opportunity shall be balanced, this balancing caused by not only the positive and negative orientations of those offering aid but also the orientation of those requesting aid. Question 21.19 Questioner, thank you very much. I apologize in being so stupid in stating my questions but this has cleared up my understanding nicely. Then in the second 25,000 year major cycle was there any great civilization that developed? Answer, I am Ra. In the sense of greatness of technology there were no great societies during this cycle. There was some advancement among those of Neb who had chosen to incarnate as a body in what you would call China. There were appropriately positive steps in activating the green ray energy complex in many portions of your planetary sphere including the Americas, the continent which you call Africa, the island which you call Australia, and that which you know as India, as well as various scattered peoples. None of these became what you would name great as the greatness of Lemuria or Atlantis is known to you due to the formation of strong social complexes, and in the case of Atlantis, very great technological understandings. However, in the South American area of your planetary sphere as you know it there grew to be a great vibratory distortion towards love. These entities were harvestable at the end of the second major cycle without ever having formed strong social or technological complexes. This will be the final question in completion of this session. Is there a query we may answer quickly before we close, as this instrument is somewhat depleted? Question 21.20 Questioner I would just like to apologize for the confusion on my part in carrying on to this second 25,000 years. I would like to ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? We would like to have a second session today. Answer, I am Ra. You may observe a slight misalignment between book, candle and perpendicularity of sensor. This is not significant, but as we have said the cumulative effects upon this instrument are not well. You are conscientious. It is well to have a second session given the appropriate exercising and manipulation of this instrument's physical complex. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the One Infinite Creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the One Creator. Adonai.